What's up guys? Happy Motivational Monday. This is Anya Evanson coming at you on Monday morning here. It is about 9 a.m. and I just got back from the little beach that we have here. I went swimming and it is very cold out. It's like three degrees Celsius out, but I've been doing this almost every single day for like the past two or three weeks and it has just been absolutely phenomenal. It is the best way to start my day. My body just feels completely rejuvenated. Call me crazy, but I started out by just going out and doing like 10 laps. That was my goal, 10 laps out and then 10 laps in. And now I'm all the way up to 20 laps. So my body has seriously adapted to this freezing water and it's just been absolutely amazing. I get a little walk in at the same time. I get like almost 4,000 steps. So it's been great, but that is actually not what we're gonna talk about in today's Motivational Monday video. I'm actually really excited to talk to you about what I'm gonna share with you today because I can almost guarantee that it will add value to your life if you choose to implement this or choose to try it out. But basically this is something that my parents and I have been doing for the last couple weeks that has added so much more value and connection and just meaning to our family. And it's been something we've been doing during dinner almost every single night now for the last two weeks. And why I wanted to bring this up to you guys is because right now during these quarantine times, you know, during coronavirus, you're probably at home a lot more than usual and you might be hanging out with those people that you're living with a lot more than usual as well. So it might be your family, it might also be a roommate or it might be whoever that you're living with. But this doesn't just have to go for right now. This can also go for the future or really anybody that you just want to create a better connection with. So for the last month and a half-ish, we have been having family dinners every single night here at home. Since I'm not working right now, my mom is not working as much. And as you guys can probably tell, I'm a pretty deep conversation type person. So just because, you know, we're having dinner every single night, the conversations can get a little bit monotonous and a little bit like boring and a little bit, you know, we're together so much that it's like, how are we gonna find me true meaning in what we're talking about right now. So one day I decided to come to dinner with a question of the day. And it actually started by me actually just looking up questions to ask somebody online or something. And I ended up on this site that was like 52 questions to ask a girl to get to know her or something. It's actually a great website. So I do recommend it if you try this out, but a lot of them have to do with relationships. I would not recommend asking your parents those types of questions just because that can get a little bit too personal. But a lot of questions on that site were really good. And so I think the first question that I asked was like, would you want to be famous? Why or why not? Or something something like that. And so what ended up happening was that this question of the day thing started sparking really meaningful, interesting conversations around the dinner table. And we ended up like taking turns of who was gonna ask the question of the day. So it wasn't always me. But for example, one of my favorite questions was, what is your favorite non-physical attribute about yourself? What ended up happening was that instead of sharing our own personal favorite non-attributes about ourselves, we did it for each other. So I shared, you know, my favorite non-physical attribute about my both of my parents and they did the same for me and each other. And it ended up turning into such a beautiful conversation. And yesterday was Mother's Day and we were going to my grandma's house for dinner and my dad brought up the day before he was like, you know what? I think we should bring one of these questions of the day to your grandma's house tomorrow for dinner. So we thought about it and I came up with this question that we ended up asking around the dinner table last night. What is one thing that your mother has taught you? And guys, it turned into the most meaningful, beautiful conversation that we had around the dinner table. Everybody shared one or two things that they've learned from their mother. And it was just such a great time. And afterwards, when we were leaving, my grandma was like, thank you for the best Mother's Day I've ever had. And I can guarantee you guys, I don't know if she was actually kidding or not, but it was a really great time just because we had such a great conversation around the dinner table and it wasn't, you know, all silly jokes or talking about the news or talking about the coronavirus. It was like, we actually learned something about each other. And so this is a great thing to do just if you want to create a better connection with those around you, those that you live with, or somebody that you want to just create a better relationship with, because it really doesn't matter how long you've known somebody. You know, I've known my parents for almost 27 years now, but there's always something to learn about each other. I mean, we have, you have your entire lives to talk about and every single day brings new experiences 
experiences, new thoughts, new things. So that's my motivational message for the day, guys. Go and try this out with your family or your friends or whoever. If you're going to coffee with somebody, you know, come with maybe a few questions in the back of your mind to ask them if it's somebody that you care about or you're interested in or you want to get to know. Questions are just the key to connection. So I hope you guys implement this, but thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and I'll see you guys next Monday. Peace.